What's up everyone? Welcome to another exciting backyard baseball video with Mav Father. Going in to play the final game of the first part of this keeper league that we are doing. Uh, the first mini season that we have going on. Um, the schedule and everything isn't showing up right because of some crashes in the file, but this will be a game against the Mets. Um, and we'll be at home at Dirt Yards where we struggled in our first game that hadn't been recorded. Yeah, it doesn't even have season stats or anything. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I set this up right. And this looks like a team that I would be facing. I believe this is uh, Sisu's team. Drafted a lot of catchers. He doesn't have Mike Piazza behind the plate, which is kind of nice. I uh, don't want to hit it really anywhere in the infield. I uh, feel a little less... You know, got a lot of speed in the outfield. It's an interesting team. Um, we're going to try to be sneaking some line drives into the gaps. Uh, I bet this defense got screwed up by Grace Tipton's bad day. Uh, so she lost out on pitching to Stan Olofsson. Uh, so I don't know what their normal defensive arrangement is, but without an actual pitcher lock, it got mixed up a little bit. Um, otherwise, it's pretty similar to kind of the defense I have been running. Keisha is on a good day for us. We like to see that. Oh, and Sonia too. Uh, but a bad day for Cal. And for Chipper. Uh, just a little bit of a batting one for Chipper, though. We'll still have Chipper at first, Cal at third. Uh, I don't know how much Susan behind the plate really matters in this one. I might put, like, Keisha behind the plate. Brad Key on the mound. Um, Mikey at Second base, Bobby there, Sonia can play right field, I think. Yeah, her arm's so good. I could just stick Mikey out there. Something like this, and then we're going to mess with our batting order. Um, I'd like Keisha leading off. And feels even better with her good day right now. I'm going to stick Cal Chipper lower than usual. Uh -huh. And Sonia. Still going to be pretty low, but I think I'll be able to count on her. Oh, Mikey there. Uh, Marilyn. Uh, Susan and Marilyn, like that, and then Mikey, and then Bobby's fine there, and Cal, slow day, but still is normal, pretty solid bat, so, yeah, I think I kind of like it like that, give it a shot, I uh, hope to put up more runs here at Dirt Yards than in our first attempt uh, during this season. And we'll see how this goes against the Mets. And I've got the game sounds muted because I am listening to my Go Life Orioles currently as we chase the number one overall pick in the upcoming draft and try to help. Uh, the team I'm currently controlling, the Mariners, and getting into the playoffs is what I'm hoping for. This will probably be a bit dated by the time anyone hears this, but get the first out of the inning on a bunt laid down by Grace Tipton. Bringing up A-Rod with nobody on and one out. Hook in from Brad Key. A-Rod makes decent contact, but right towards Chipper at first base. Took him a little while to 
field it successfully, but was able to make the play in time. Brings up Chico Papas. Papas. I don't know how to say it. Uh, he of the always 10 batting and 10 running. And he might have just taken that deep. Dang it. <sighs> Freaking Chico. That was a good pitch. Um, you can just make good contact with it. And uh, wasn't actually that far, but after the bounce, it went quite a ways. Run given up already in this one. And we will try to avoid that for the Mets catcher, Mike Pizza. It's a pretty solid batter from what we've found, but it's obviously pretty dang slow. Nah, but not exactly prohibitively slow like we originally thought, but uh, not going to be able to do anything with that one. A little grounder to Keisha behind the plate. She makes the play with no real difficulties. And sends us to the bottom of the first now with this one run deficit. And like I said, before the game, Stan on the mound. We're going to take that pitch. It's pretty wild. But I remember from Sonia, they only have like one good pitch. This hook, I think, is all it is. So he's probably going to be throwing it a lot. Uh, based on what I've started to learn about uh, how the AI pitchers kind of work. Keisha with a one and two count on her, and so I'm going to switch to a line drive, especially with her speed boost for the day. Uh, she's normally a nine speed, so at ten doesn't necessarily mean that she's like up another speed tier. Makes good contact. Yeah, I didn't think Grace was going to be able to make that play. Looks like a pretty easy double for Keisha there. Good way to start things off. And I think especially with her possible speed boost, we would, would have been able to get away with a steal there. Uh -oh. Nope, a rod flubbed it. And we looped Susan around when a rod tried to make the throw home. End up with a RBI double with a little bit of luck on our first two hits so far. Just kind of putting it into the outfield and hoping we get lucky with drops and things. We're going to take this pitch to let well, uh, Mike made a good throw. All right. I thought Susan was going to have a pretty easy steal of third, but Mike surprised me. Marilyn puts a nice swing on the ball. That looks like it's going to fall in for base hit and more with a rough bounce for uh, Pamela, the Jason Kendall clone, who's out in center field for the Mets right now. I might have been impacted by the uh, Grace bad day that messed up at least some of their defense. But uh, Marilyn was able to stretch it for a triple, barely. Uh, might not matter with Mikey Thomas up, but figured the further we could get her on the base pass, the better. Especially after I got poor Susan thrown out earlier. That was a nice pitch to hit for Mikey, but I mistimed the speed of the heat. I, think I mistimed that one too, and it was a tough pitch to hit no matter what. So it's fortunate for Mikey there. I'm gonna bring up. Bobby Higginson up to just try to make good contact, find some space in the outfield, and drive in Marilyn. 
looked like a pretty good pitch to hit, so I went ahead and swung at it. Chico makes the catch, ranging out from his spot in center, second base. And that finishes off our team in the bottom of the first there. So, tie ball game going into the top of the second. And Pamela at the plate. Radke, a little wild with his first pitch for ball one. Should have been a pretty much guaranteed strike. Uh, that one should have been two. I don't know what's going on. Just kind of barely missing those corners. Pamela fouls off the third pitch, a slow ball, making it two and one. Puts a good swing on that ball, right towards Bobby in left field, though, and he makes the catch successfully. Bring up Hillary Vargas, the Jeff Bagwell clone. He's playing first base for the Mets. It's a hard ground ball. It does take a bit of a weird bounce, but I think it ended up being a negative bounce for the Mets as it ended up going straight to Brad Key. And he makes the play. Or out number two. And a Goudreau, the Chipper Jones clone at the plate. I've got Chipper on my team. It's a nice line drive that um, Sonia, who I have at second base, flubs. Uh, but then Susan came over and covered for her from short step to get the final out. So no further damage done by the Mets. Still tied one to one going into the bottom of the second. Uh, with his reduced speed today, we're swinging power with Cal here. And I don't think that's quite going to get there. Oh, bounced off of Grace for a home run. Oh, the Jose Canseco play. Love to see that. Nice home run from Cal. He's been a bit hit or miss in my game so far, but... We'll have to see a home run from him to put us in the lead. Justify a little bit his probably earlier than really deserved pick in our draft. I went against our rankings because he's my all-time favorite player, and I just wanted to use his custom here in 2003. Sonia hits the ball hard out to Pamela in center, but she makes the catch. With his reduced bat for the day, we are going line drive for sure with Chipper. Uh, I guess he could. It could be just a contact bad day theoretically. Um, he hits that ball well, but it was caught in center field. Man, I was getting lucky in that first inning, but hard to believe they didn't run into each other in center field there. With this infield, I'm a little skeptical of Brad Key's ability to get on with a grounder swing, so... We're going to see what he can do with a line drive swing. Pretty generally not a good batter, but does go to a 2-1 and one count. And if he can't manage to get on base, we've got boosted Keisha up at the top of the lineup. That hook came inside for strike two, so a 2-2 two and two count. That's a ball, and it is, so full count. It's a pretty good swing on the ball. Looks like it's going to go right to A-Rod, but he does 
make an error on the play and allow Brad Key to reach first successfully. Pretty excited about that. Especially with the throw offline, pretty easy steal for Brad Key there as Keisha kind of whiffed at a pitch. Might have been below the strike zone. Oh man, I thought I had that one. Alright, strike two on Keisha. Dang it. I don't know if I'm off on my timing on those or what. It looked like I really crush that but it was not to be and we'll have our second batter in the order leading off in the bottom of the third um, as we score one on the Kyle Ripken solo home run Jason Kendall up to lead off the top of the third here for the Met quickly goes down to an 0 and 2 count. Trying to high an inside right hook that he fouls off as well. Trying to save as much oh, juice as we can. Apparently did not wait long enough to click for the next pitch there. I feel like back air baseball just tries to force you to be patient sometimes. Another foul off from Kendall. It's pretty annoying. Whiffs on that left hook, though, for Brad Key's first strikeout of the game. I have my cat coming to join me for the third time this game. Oh, she's running off. And <laughs> cat has completely freaked out after I tried to get her out from behind my computer where she could unplug something or get dang cat hair up in my computer fans. As the AI, I honestly don't even remember who was at the plate, just skies it. Uh, it was a uh, Stan, I think. Skies it out to Maryland in center field. Nice play by Keisha coming out from behind her catcher position. And so we get out of that top of the third with no further damage done. And come up with some of our stronger batters here in the bottom of the third. We're going to take that pitch. There's a strike, but that is okay with Susan at the plate. Now that was a perfect pitch to hit, but just fouled it off. Maybe needed to switch to square to make the best contact with it. Does a good job of just making strong contact and finding a bit of a hole in the defense. And ends up on first with a single. Feel better about stealing second on Piazza, then third, and we're taking that pitch anyways. Pretty easy steal for Susan there. Takes away the likelihood, at least, of a double play. Not going to try third again, though. Marilyn, with a nice swing. Is it out? Wow, she made the catch. And I waited a little long to send Susan on the sack, what was actually a sack fly, basically. Uh, but did get her over to third. Tough one from Marilyn there. She made good contact, but Grace has a lot of range out there in left field. When she's not busy uh, letting it bounce off her head like she did last inning. Yeah, I was pretty sure that was a strike, but trying to get the timing down a little on these hooks. 
Man, still don't have it. I uh, mean, I'm not switching to line drive with Mikey, so we're going to see what we can do. Take that pitch for ball two. Mikey had a huge game, two for me at Steel Stadium, which is a pretty good park for him. That one is not going to go anywhere other than straight to the center fielder. Oh, but it was dropped, so going to be a single for Mikey. And an RBI one at that. Back to getting a little lucky, though. Certainly some danger in having Mikey Thomas on first base. Not able to get him to second even after uh, sending sending him on the steal hit and run attempt. Offline throw from Piazza allows Bobby to steal second. That one looks high, and it is. Two and O oh count for Cal here. Figured that was going to get called a strike, but not a great pitch to hit. And with a 2 0 oh count, can afford to be a little bit picky. Looks like we're going to 3 and 1 there now. I'm going to take it if it's close or if it's well outside. It gives us runners on first and second with two outs and Sonia at the plate. I think I'm going to trust her with a power swing. Oh, rough. Stan picking on his clone, Sonia. It's a hard swing on that one, and it gets by Grace escaping into the outfield. Grace makes a terrible first throw in. Everyone has a good arm, but not good enough to prevent that. Nice. Two RBI triple from Sonia. And that forces a pitching change. So Stan is now over at third base. Doesn't really change much for this Mets defense. Uh, Stan is 100 stamina. Um, Chipper with a nice swing on the ball, but Grace, <laughs> Grace did it again. <laughs> uh, bounced off of Grace's glove in left field. And <laughs> went over the fence for a home run from Chipper Jones. Been an uh, interesting game <laughs> against these Mets so far. As Chipper takes his clone deep for a home run. Gives us a 7-1 to one lead here in the bottom of the third. Radke hits a little grounder right to Anna, and she does make the play over at first base. But a lot of damage done in that inning. That's where we are up to a 7-1 to one lead. A-Rod is up for his second time today, facing Bradkey. Goes down to an 0-2 count from the slow balls, and then on a high and inside right hook, A-Rod fouls it off. 
and try a high and outside left hook. Just misses outside for the first ball of the at bat. And a rod fouls off another. So I'm switching back to a slow ball. A rod is really making Brad Key fight for this one. I think we're finally going to get him on this little ground ball to Brad Key. Just barely, though. Uh, he made that look a lot harder than it should have been. Uh, I think I gotta fire off this juice with the current situation. Trying to not let Chico hit a home run again at least. Grounds it right to Cal at third who makes the throw over to Chipper Jones playing first base for out number two. Hopefully that will be the last time we have to face Chico in this one. Piazza looks at a right hook low and inside for strike number one. Slow ball low and outside. Goes right back to Brad Key on a grounder and get the third out of the inning pretty easily. Starting from the top of our lineup for, I believe now the third time through, yeah. With Keisha leading things off here in the bottom of the fourth. Unless something goes terribly wrong on defense, we've now got six outs to work with to hopefully score some number more runs. Mets offense doesn't terribly impress me, but the coach for the team is a good one, so he could definitely put up a bunch of runs here at Dirt Yards. Um, while that conversation was going on, Keisha crushed, crushed one to left center. Luckily not getting blocked by the wall in right center. And a 496 foot solo home run as the result. Gives us an 8 to 1 lead with Susan now up. Susan crushes one out towards center. Oh, but it's caught by Pamela right up against the wall. Rough one from Susan. She's got a really nice swing, better than I would have given her slash Ichiro credit for. Open Piazza. Oh my gosh. Rough luck on. Both of those. These Mets have been kind of bouncing back and forth between impressing me with their defense and completely blowing it with their defense. Yeah, I'm not going to try to swing at that uh, fireball, but probably messes up Anna's stamina there. Juice, I guess. Technically, there's a difference between my current juice and their stamina rating, but yeah, looks like she's a little wild now with now a two and one count for Mikey. Not exactly who we want drawing a walk, but with two outs, no real danger of a double, no, no possible danger of a double play, so. Mikey, oh, that's going foul, but that would be gone otherwise. With a squared stance, somehow managed to hit the ball so far to, off to the left still. Full count. Ah, I had to swing, I thought, but did not actually come down into the strike zone. So, picked up a run off of the home run from Keisha, but a couple nice defensive plays from the Mets. Um, Pamela in center. And Piazza behind the plate means that Mikey was up with nobody on. He fouled off a long one, but couldn't actually make anything happen. I uh, wish I could have 
taken a walk there, but it was closer than I felt comfortable taking. Easy first out there on a grounder from Pamela. She might have bunted. I don't remember. But bunts are illegal, so I'll go with grounder. Hilary Lee with a high pop-up out towards Maryland and center. She is not able to make the catch. So ends up putting Hilary Lee on first base with Anna Goudreau at the plate. Pretty solid hitter. So not a ideal situation. Susan able to go out and make the catch from her shortstop position. I was trying to get Marilyn to come in from center field and make the catch instead, but ended up working out, so hard to complain. And an easy out for a ground ball that Keisha fielded and threw over to first. So no actual damage done there. Bobby Higginson here to lead off in the bottom of the eighth. Should be our last turn at bat. It's a little grounder. I'm going to be sprinting. Got him there. Not super pretty, but nice single from Bobby Higginson. I think I'm going to go ahead and send him on to second on a steal attempt. Anna tried to field the throw halfway, but failed. And I had a bit of a trouble throwing the ball around. Cal with a little grounder. Going to be sprinting him to first. He's not going to make it. Dang it. Really need to be saving as many outs as we can here. So the runner on second with Sonia at the plate, and she just crushes that ball. I think that one's going to be farther than Keisha's. 590. Definitely got some concrete bounce and roll and nothing out there to stop the ball, but still very impressive from Sonia, giving us a 10 to 1 lead. And we've at least got a chance to make it all the way back around to our top of the order now. With the chipper up against his clone, Anna, once again. This good vision, able to take those two pretty comfortably and go up 2-0 and in the count. We're taking that, too, for ball three. If he does get on, be a walk or anything else, speaking of, we're just not swinging at this one. We'll have to decide to risk going with a swing from Brad Key or not. Uh, we do have a probably tired Goudreau out in left field now, something to keep in mind. And now a full count for Chipper. Puts a good swing on the ball, but it is caught by um, A Rod at short set. Dang it. I was trying to get a ground ball down from Bradkey, but swung at something higher in the zone than I should have been, I guess. And instead, he just pops it up, and Stan, who was shifted way in, was able to make the catch. 
Speaking of Stan, he hits it where nobody on our defense was going to go get it. And that gives him a pretty easy single. Yeah, I never seem to actually get away with those here at my home field. I've been a big fan of dirt yards, but it's all right. Did better this time, at least. Don't necessarily expect this nine run win to be enough against the coach I'm facing, but Brad Key just now picking up his second strikeout of the game, which is pretty rare for me in general. Really hoping we can pull off a double play and just not have to face Chico, but not particularly counting on that either. But nice pitches from Brad Key, though. Missed on that one, though. Now a one and two count. Brad Key's also getting tired. An A-Rod fouling one off will probably not help with that. Did get him with a left hook for strikeout number three. Uh, but now we've got Brad Key with pretty much no juice. Not really, but lower than I really feel comfortable with going up against Chico. Uh, we're just going to kind of pitch around to him as much as possible. Rather miss with balls than get called on these hooks or get caught with a uh, bad pitch out across the middle of the plate. Chico's good eye is, of course, making that more difficult. I'm actually going to swap in Sonia. He's all right at second base, I think. Um, so he has one good pitch is a right hook, so we're going to throw it. And nobody gets to the ball. Our AI does not like these little grounders at dirt yards here. Trying to get out of this. Oh, that was the final out. <laughs> I was like trying to make, get Mike out at first still, but all right. We do get out of that with just the one solo home run allowed to Chico and then put up 10 runs of our own. And then the Mets defense kind of bounced back and forth between Grace letting multiple uh, balls hit out to the left field, bounce off of her glove or her head and go over for a home run. And then other innings where they would just catch everything on pretty well hit balls, so uh, interesting game, but not too upset with my 10 to 1 win, and that will be it for this first part of the Keeper League season, so thanks for tuning in.